Welcome back to another edition of BC Renovation Magazine. In this video, I'm going to show you how we're going to get rid of this ugly old bay window. If you're interested in seeing how I do that, stick around. Alright, so I'm carrying on with uh, my window replacement project in this old abandoned mobile home. And so, so far I've done this kitchen window. It's a kitchen sink window. And I've got the master bedroom window done next. And uh, one of the things that I did uh, that I explained in a previous video was uh, we wanted to get the tops of the windows all at the same height. Uh, this home has had some renovations done and they, uh, as a result of those renovations, they had windows up and down. So we're getting everything nice and consistent here. the back of the home here we have uh, the ensuite bath window this little guy here and the next window I'm going to tackle is uh, this bay window up here and this is the, the uh, dining room nook window and again uh, I've altered the opening so that you know we've got all the way around the top so these windows are all consistent so this window here um, is not original to the home. Uh, originally there was no window in this wall. This is a in the living room. And so this was just a blank wall here. And at some point in time, somebody you know, came and put this uh, bay window in. Um, the water has been leaking around it. And I'll show you how, how this was installed. Uh, you know, it's basically, it's rotten. You know, this is all rotten. Uh, we had a bird. We had a little bird's nest in here last last summer but uh yeah it's just i mean it's yeah it's, it's had it i'll show you how they did it at the top here which is kind of sketchy Get my ladder so you know with this window being a projecting window um you know it, it comes out over the out from the side of the home here you know on this roof line there's no overhang so you can see how the roof is here and so you know water has been coming down the main roof and over and then onto this roof now they have a, a metal cap on here and <clears throat> you can see here where you know the siding this cap goes up underneath the siding but but this is you know it, it's failed and uh, you know it's been leaking water um, when I take it apart on the inside, you'll see I, I don't believe there's any header in here. They completely, you know, just cut out the studs and didn't replace it. So basically, you know, this is quite a stretch where it's unsupported, which is, you know, this is too much. That being said, you know, this home is uh, 40 years old and it's been sitting here for most of that 40 years, you know, like this. And, and nothing has moved here. Nothing has sagged. So, you know, it's holding its own. But uh, we're going to get rid of this old window here and uh, put in a, a modern vinyl window vinyl framed window just you know to match those windows over here okay be the same type of window but uh, what we're going to go do here is we're going to go with the three a three light three pane three section uh, window that uh, uh, it won't open it's just going to be for light uh, with you know we get lots of air in there on the other side is a patio door so we don't need an opening window here so i'll take you inside and just show you around there so on the inside, just to kind of bring you up to date, um, you know, this is that kitchen sink window, which is uh, installed now. It's all, all ready to go. Uh, these windows don't have the screens in them right now, but they do have screens. And, you know, these are just a, a, a real nice kind of vinyl slider. You know, they're thermal pane. Uh, these are what's called low E glass and they're argon filled. So they're uh, energy efficient to, uh, you know, to make the home more, more efficient. The low E glass reflects the sun back out and the argon filled uh, uh, in argon gas in between the panes. It's a, du a dual pane, seal pane. Okay, this is the uh, dining, dining nook window. And then back here, this is the this is the new master bedroom window that you see here. And again, you know, all I did here um, is just cut out the header above. 
I took it up four inches. There's still plenty of header left above that to support this little bit of roof that's over top here. Um, this, this one I had to replace the sill. Uh, the sill was rotten. The water had been collecting down in this, this section right here. So this was all rotted out. But uh, I took the ply, went off the other side, the OSB board off of the other side, the outside, and, uh, you know, re replaced this. this. is all new framing in here. So that's all been taken care of. And this is the ensuite bath window, what it looks like from the inside. All right, so this one, again, was lower. The top of the window was here originally. That was the original window. And so I lifted up that four inches. And so that brought this up four inches as well. So this was the original sill. And so I've, you know, I've moved it up this much. So now again, we've got uh, this window is the same height as all the other windows in the home. Okay. So now we're into this bay window. <clears throat> this bay window is quite a project. And again, you know, this is in the living room. So I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but <clears throat> this whole window is sloped. They, they slope the whole window down. So, you know, the top and the bottom are sloping. And I, I imagine that they did that to, you know, any of the water that came down off the roof onto the top of this window then would, would get out. Um, this window is not insulated on the top. There's no insulation above here, I don't think. Um, well, actually, there might be. Uh, we'll find out when we open it up. But you can see here where I don't know if you can see it, but you can see in there where it's been leaking and you can see we got some punky stuff going on in that stud there and uh, You know, it's been running down that stud So I'm going to be taking all this drywall off around this window To see what we have anything that has to be repaired is going to get repaired. I'm going to be reframing the opening uh, you know to fit the new window and the new window is going to again be at the same height as all the other windows in the room so right now this opening is a bit higher than the other openings um, so again for consistency if you like to make things look professional and well done um, it's a good idea to make you know have consistency in your windows uh, like have them the same so this window is going to be this is the same height as that window is going to be there so although the width varies we we're going to have the heights the same so that you have some some uh, consistency, some uniformity uh, in the window, so that it's pleasing to the eye when you do that. Um, yeah, so that, like I say, this window was not originally this. This home never had this window. This was this. It was a window that was put in afterwards. Uh, if we were going to restore this back to the original way it was originally, we would just take that window out and fill the hole in, and and then you'd have a wall there. So, uh, you know, I, I like the window. It gives a lot of nice light. And, uh, you know, we do have sort of a nice view out the window here, out, you know, towards the creek. You know, there's no homes over that way to look at. And uh, so we're going to take advantage of that. And, you know, we're in amongst the trees here. So, you know, with these other windows uh, and doors here, it, uh, you know, makes it quite uh, spacious feeling and bright uh, to, have, to have that uh, window there. Um, speaking of windows, up in here we have a uh, skylight. And so, I'm not sure about this, I haven't decided. Well, I've decided about 90%, but what's your opinion on this? Let me know in the comments. Um, this is, there was an old, there's an old skylight on the roof there, and I just, for the winter time, I just put this insulation in here uh, to keep the heat from going up into the attic there. Uh, what do you think? Do you think we need to have a, a skylight here or should we just get rid of it? Um, you know, take into consideration the brightness of the room, you know, which is which is quite bright. Thing with the skylights is that, uh, you know, the sun, this is a th southern exposure here and the sun really, it's really intense on there. So you get a lot of really strong light that comes in there, uh, which makes it like really, really bright in the heat of the day in the summertime. Also with our future plans, um, we're going to be doing some bulkheads here and some recessed lighting. We're going to be getting rid of those lights up there. So get it, giving it a more modern look. So I'm just thinking that the skylight is going to be too much. You know, we don't, don't really need it for the light. And it's, you know, it's a feature that really isn't necessary. Uh, you know, with the cost of everything these days, I'm also thinking, you know, I want to 
get the cost down a little bit and not put a skylight in. Uh, also, skylights tend to give you problems, you know, years down the road. It's just like, you know, they leak and uh, they're just, yeah, they're, they're, they're not really great. So, yeah, let me know in the comments. What would you do with that skylight? Keep it or get rid of it? All right, so I'm going to start tearing some stuff apart here and I'll uh, give, you, give you an update here once I get a little, little bit into this. All right, so I'm just getting into this here and got the drywall off and I was mistaken. Uh, they actually did put a header in there. You can see it up there. It's a two by eight. So we will be utilizing that. Uh, here you can see the water leakage that we've had. There's, this is mold, mold on the poly here. So we'll be cleaning that all up. I'm not sure if that uh, header goes back into uh, if it's sitting on a on a, on a uh, jack stud or a cripple we call it um, if it's not we're going to correct that our, our new window is actually a bit narrower than this uh, opening so we do have some room here to you know to support that header properly um, underneath you can see what they've done here must have been the same guy that did the kitchen window did this window so the, there's uh, all they did was you cut studs off so you can see here yeah, there's no sill plate, right? So they've just cut the studs and uh, man, they're just sitting in there right now, held only by the sheeting on the outside. So all along there. So we will be installing a sill plate here for the new window to sit on. Uh, underneath the bottom, along the floor there, it looks in good condition. Uh, over there, where, where the uh, kitchen sink window was, you remember how we replaced all of that uh, one by four uh, bottom plate over there because it was all rotten here we don't have to do that this is in good shape now here's something interesting so you can see these these are strips of tin okay that are have been stapled on to the onto the studs over top of the vapor barrier and you can see this black residue on here so what they've done here with these uh, strips is once the vapor barrier was installed, they, they nailed these aluminum strips. It's just scrap. It's the same material as the siding on the outside. And they just stapled them to the uh, studs. And then when they applied these wall panels, these wall panels are what's called VOG, a vinyl over gypsum. So uh, this, this has a, uh, it's a gypsum based product and with a vinyl decorative co uh, co covering on it. So what they do is they glue the panels to these metal strips that are stapled to the studs. Okay, and that way they avoid, you know, in a factory setting to move these things through on the assembly line, they, they avoid having screws through the, the finished uh, wall panel that you have to deal with somehow. Um, all they do is they put some glue on there and push the panel on there and, and the, uh, it, it's glued onto that metal strip which is in turn stapled onto the stud. Then at the joints where the joints are, uh, this they've all been removed here but uh, then every four feet of course then you have a, a joint. So they put the panels on vertically and so then every four feet there's a joint and what they what they typically do with that is then they put a batten strip over top of the joint to cover the joint and those are just uh, pinned on with a pinner now over here when we uh when we do these homes we want to get rid of those strips we want to get rid of all those you know mobile home moldings um yeah i'll show you i'll show you a strip back here so as they roll out of the factory you know this is what they put on the joints is a strip like this it's a batten strip to cover that where the two panels meet so to get rid of the moldings you know there's a molding along the top and we get rid of all these moldings and i'm sort of uh, going off on a tangent here from windows but um we we want to get rid of we like smooth walls like in a house and so then we get rid of the moldings and we tape and fill uh those instead but uh, over here uh, this wall here, this, this, these panels were all loose and so you can see here where I've drywall screwed it back to the studs so now it's, you know, it's solid again. And then when I tape these walls, you know, I'll be filling those screws. So there, the, that loo let go and it does do that um, sometimes over time. Uh, it just gets old and dries out and it lets go. 
So yeah, that's a little interesting thing there about those metal strips. All right, folks, so I'm uh, making some headway. I got that ugly old window out. And the thing was completely rotten. I can show you along the top here. This is the top of the window. You can see how, you know, this is just, just all rotten in here. So I'm gonna be doing a little fix up there with that. It's no problem. Um, this, this is basically, this framing that's rotten is the framing from the window. So, you know, it's going anyways. Um, but you can just see that, you know, that look, it looks like it's been burnt, but it's just, it's just, that's dry rot. Uh, the top of this window was all wet, just, just soaked in spite of it having that metal top on it. And, uh, you can see here where the top of the window met the wall, um, you know, that there's, there's damage in here as well. So, um, I know some people are going to say, why don't you put the bay window back in? Um, I don't like this because you know it sticks out here now. We are going to extend the roof over But not as much as you would have it sticking over for a bay window So, you know that leaves the top of that window exposed to the elements uh, This way we're just going to put a regular window in and then we're going to put a, a you know A little bit of one foot overhang on the roof there Everything is going to be protected and, and water, you know water tight from that point on weatherproof Okay, so this just kind of shows you what it looks like once you got the hole opened up so I'll carry on here okay so I'm uh, framing up this opening here for the window and I pretty much got I pretty much have it framed up on the inside here um, so now I've got my window sill plate in and I put in the uh, sides of the opening here so I've got these two studs uh, here Supporting that beam. Okay, that that beam up there was here All right, but there's a problem with that and I'm going to show you um, Okay, so across down the other side again, we've got the two the beam is sitting on the two Okay Now I, I you can see you know our sill plate everything down here is in nice shape. So uh, You know, we're good. We're good with that now you can see in here where they have a piece of angle iron this is a little trick that they did when they installed that header again that was not from the factory that's something that somebody did after the fact and you can see they just lagged on a piece of uh a one by one uh angle iron there for that beam to sit on all right and, it's, and they did the same thing at the other end so now um you know because that span is quite big i mean we've got six feet there um, you know there you need to have that beam sitting on something uh, over here When we did this window uh, Remember I told you how you know, this wasn't technically correct But you know quite often this is what you'll see this in mobile homes. It's quite common to see this where um, You know the end of the header is not sitting on anything, but again, you know, we've got six three-inch screws in each in the end of each uh, of each end of that uh, header there and uh you know the shear of those screws it's not going anywhere um you know then up on top we've got a double you know a double uh, two by four plate up there so you know on a smaller span like this it's okay but over here you know definitely on this uh this bigger window you know we we want to get we want to get some support because you know we've got uh what do we have we've got four so your your rafters are going to be underneath that stud, or I'm sorry, on top, that stud, that one, that one, and that one. So we got four, you know, we got four rafters sitting on that up there. So we, we want to have it supported. Now, I have a problem with that. That that header there is a two ply, which means it's two thicknesses of uh, two by eight. And uh, the inside of it is good, but I'll take you outside here. On the uh, outside, it's uh, it's rotten. So I'm going to have to peel off that outside ply there and, uh, you know, and replace it with a new piece of 2x8 and then, and then we'll be good. So this is what it's looking like from the outside. So our opening's coming right along. You should see our framing. I'll just get this ladder here. All right. So... You can see up on top here now none of this is not structural at all you can see how it's gapped so it's not carrying any load but the this this header is sitting on you know this double one there and the double one at the other end 
Now you can see here how this, how this side, this ply on the outside here of this two by eight is, uh, it's all rotten. So uh, I'm gonna be taking that, I'm gonna peel that out of there and then I'll be putting in a new, a new two by eight there and then we'll, we'll be good to go. All right, stick around folks. All right, folks, so there's our living room window all installed. This is what it looks like from the outside. And so, yeah, I got that uh, header up above there. I peeled out that one ply and I, you know, I put in a new piece there. So that's all nice and sound. So uh, I'll take you inside and show you what it looks like on the inside. And here's a little look from the inside. Got it, sir, I'll put back together here. Got the insulation back in. Uh, there you can see the header up above. How that turned out. So this is quite a difference from the uh, from the old bay window. That old bay window, that thing was a disaster. It was really bad shape. Um, but uh, you know, this gives us some nice light now and this is a very energy efficient window. Uh, none of those open. Those are all fixed uh, fixed windows. Uh, you know, we have an opening window over here, another one over here. Uh, this patio door opens. So this is just uh, you know, just what we used to call in the old days a picture window. All right, so uh, that's got all but my my one last window installed. And let's take you outside here. So. This window at the front of the home here is uh, my last one. And so I don't think I've ever given you a good look at this from the outside. But, you know, this is the, the end of the house that sort of uh, faces the street here. And, uh, you know, that's old fashioned, an old fashioned gable up on top there. You know, we got that ugly attic vent up there. Um, you know, this old style bow window, uh, you know, we've got the lamps on either side, you know, and it's offset, uh, nothing centered up there. So yeah, this is going to be my next window project. Um, this is going to be a big job guys, but, uh, you're going to see how we're just going to completely change the look of this for my, you know, this is a 40 year old home. It's going to look like a brand new one, but, uh, that's going to be a couple videos down the way. So next video, uh, I'm going to show you how I do this trim. So you can see this trim that I've done around the window, the, sorry, around the door there. So we're going to be uh, putting that same trim around the windows. And so, you know, this is it here. And uh, yeah, in the next video, I'm going to show you in detail how I put this on. And uh, you're going to see how that, how that works. So uh, thanks for watching, folks. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And uh, if you like this video, please share it and give us a thumbs up. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.